Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of the Mainline, we're going to be delivering bricks to Chester, which is one of the most northerly towns on the map. If we look here, we've got well, we've got uh, Highworth, and then we've got Chester, which is like the most northerly. Is there another one? Um, Mans no, Mansfield's maybe roughly as northerly as Chester. Uh, but basically, what I was planning to do, and I said this in the first episode, is I want a main line that's going to be basically following this river channel all the way down into Liverpool eventually. And the main line itself, I think I probably want to start in Chester or maybe Highworth, come round into Chester possibly. But I want to make Chester grow because basically, yeah, it's going to be one of the main cities and we want lots of passengers to use our eventual rail services. So I thought what I'd do is I'd supply some of the needs that Chester has which is bricks uh, which are con which are created from the stone that comes out the quarry and then they go into the construction materials plant so it's not bricks it's construction materials but there's a brick icon so you get the general idea it's yeah we've got a little bit of money in the bank so it's a fairly kind of it's not a complicated supply chain it's quite simple but it's quite far apart the quarry to the actual construction materials plant and we've got two quarries here as well which is handy uh, in the last episode we talked a little bit about town growth so that's kind of what we're exploring a bit today and we did some bus routes which i've completed now so we've got this triangular area here so we've got cardiff bristol and nesbra connected via three bus routes and they're all making to making money which is good to see not mega bucks but enough to uh, to justify their existence and then we've got a lot of money coming in from the grain transport and a little bit of money coming in from the food delivery so i'm pretty much happy with this triangle now i'll, I'll leave that as is that's kind of done i want to try and get some other towns to uh, to grow so we can uh, start thinking about kind of expanding our operations so this is going to take a little bit of infrastructure so this is a little bit more interesting well not the other two episodes were interesting but this has got a little bit more building in it than the previous uh, episodes it's going to take some more engineering to get this built so we need to build a bridge first of all we've got to build a whole new road network so we're going to go in straight away with the 60 miles per hour road we're not going to take ownership of it because we don't need to because basically it's miles away from a town so the ai won't try to upgrade it so we're going to put a chuck a bridge in straight away over let's pick it a little bit higher shall we maybe a little bit higher I can't envisage us using ships at all, but just in case, we will allow ships to pass underneath underneath the bridge. So we'll go with what should we go with? What have we got? We've got actually we've got steel bridges and stuff like that, haven't we? And these iron bridges, which look quite good. Yeah, I'll have something like that. Let's have it straight 90 degree across the river. We've got a green there, so that means a ship could just about pass underneath that. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's um, chuck that in. Is that, I think that's a modded bridge. I think is that the, the trustless. I think that's just basically the trustless girder bridge, isn't it? Possibly, or is it a vanilla bridge? I can't remember what, I, what I've subscribed to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the trustless um, bridge. So that's all fine. We'll chuck that in there, and then we don't want to go too mad with the infrastructure, obviously, because it's all quite expensive. We do have 16 million in the bank, so it's not too bad. But obviously, the more we can keep the cost down, the better, really. We can't go completely mad with our spend, just kind of looking for a, a way to get that connected up to that road. And then we can upgrade the road that already exists. So let's just do this bit at a time, because obviously if you do long straight bits, then you have to do more kind of groundwork, which costs more money. So let's do that. Let's upgrade all of this road, all of this and up to about here and let's upgrade all of this because eventually we will be running up to this quarry as well so we will upgrade that and then we've got to build a road connection to the construction materials plant as well like so and then just little bits of road pointing roughly in the direction of the construction materials plant and then i think what i might do is just run a straight road no nope, that's not road that one alongside alongside yes good and then get that connected up uh, this is a good thing to do like because basically delivering stone iron ore or coal is a good thing to do by rail so eventually we will upgrade this to a rail line this might be one of the first rail lines that we actually build because we will start to get a lot of stone being produced so this is a, a good thing to kick start this industry because yeah i think this might be a good good way to start our kind of rail construction so let's get this uh let's get this built so we want a cargo platform Let's have it 30 meters long with two platforms because we're going to be having trucks coming in and out of this. Something a bit like, no, I think what I'll do actually, I'm going to build 
this i'm going to spend might be a little bit of overkill at the minute but i'm going to spend some money on this so let's put a cargo platform in what have we got we've got a small building we don't want that aggregate platform Ooh, we've got aggregate platforms very exciting what do these look like no they don't need to be like that because it's not quite like that so i think we'll have oh that's just goes on that side yeah so these aggregate platforms these are a mod i think and they'll go on the other end i'll show you that in a minute but what i wanted to do was go a little bit overkill on the oh come on just can't build that can i can i do this instead can i just do that and then connect the road into it yeah this is a little bit uh, ott if i'm honest but i just don't like the way trucks come in and turn around especially the articulated lorries because they kind of look a little bit weird so i'm just going to build a loop it's quite expensive just for having trucks looking <laughs> looking nice when they turn around but you know this is the sort of little details that i like to go into and then we'll have road just coming out maybe on a corner yeah massively overkill quite expensive but it just means our trucks come in and then they go out and they don't look weird when they turn around basically that's all i wanted to do with that which is a massively overkill but never mind right so we've got that road in there and then we need to think about getting chester connected up this bridge is idiot and um, we've got a random bit of road there so let's destroy all this again quite an extravagance this early on in the game we don't really want to be spending tons of money but i guess if we're going to build our infrastructure we may as well do it right first time so we'll go one two three straight across there with that nice looking steel bridge then we've got to get that connected back up to that because that's the main connection to a different town that's why it's complaining and then we want to build a little road so basically we've got the coming over here and then i think from here a little cross road well let's have it coming off here although this this is really yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna rebuild that because although the corners don't look that tight the vehicles will slow down the trucks will slow down on those corners so we'll rebuild that road because if you remember from what the last two episodes obviously the faster your vehicles can go the better the fewer of them you need and the more money more profit you make overall so let's chuck this road in i mean you do have some curves in the road just to make it look a little bit more realistic we don't want them dead straight but at the same time we don't really want any sharp corners that's probably as sharp as you want even that which for a road i would say it's not a sharp corner the trucks will slow down for that and then we need a road kind of curving in to there and then i think i'm going to take ownership of this i'm going to build a jewel now we'll have that coming into there and then we'll have a street four lane street coming in maybe if you have it straight like so and then this little road here although we don't really need to do this i think this road just kind of lends itself to going underneath just can that just literally oh it's moved the pillar anyway so that's right let's chuck that in there and then that get that connected up perfect probably do with a little bit of detail on these abutments and things like that but we'll do that later on and then we need to get this connected up don't we so we'll upgrade this well we won't upgrade it but we'll just put in an asphalt road connecting that to that and then that should stop that complaining should we do any smoothing we probably shouldn't do at this stage of the game but i don't like that brownness going on there like the dead grass lock maybe just the tiny little bit of smallest bit of smoothing we can get get away with don't really need to smooth that and smooth that as well and all that good right yeah this these corners are quite sharp but they're needed because it is going up a little bit of a hill smooth that a little bit and then just again get rid of that horrible like dead grass texture that seems to appear again i think i want some abutments concrete retaining walls on those bridges but for now we're just just doing this like so good right so we want another another thing Do you know we don't we want to upgrade why isn't this i thought i'd upgrade this to our oh, have i oh, have that's fine right let's get this hooked up so we want a road coming too much slope road coming down as aggressively as possible and then straight into there and then we're gonna have to do the same thing again aren't i because i'm going building yeah we should change the roads from the get-go yeah we only want one platform do i want to build a loop i probably do you know yeah it's just a shame you can't change that if, if i go to configure this should let me configure that why isn't it maybe if i build it closer that's that's um yeah that's really expensive just for this configure get that and then can i construction not possible that's really annoying yes this is this is going to be very expensive just to have a truck turning round place but i'm adamant start as we mean to go on oh that's quite expensive <laughs> right so let's try this again this is gonna probably cost about a million pounds just for this 
but never mind. I kind of put a road on there then, fine. And then get this connected up. And then again, we need another one way road, don't we, to get that um, hooked up. It wants to be on a current corner though. Don't want to be going downhill, just want you to be like so. And then into there. Yeah, that'll, that'll have to do. Massively overkill, really expensive. And I've got to do some smoothing as well, because that looks pretty bad. £200,000 just wasted. Well, it's not a waste. It's not a waste. It looks it looks cool. And we haven't used the right platforms either. So configure this. Get rid of that. And that gets rid of that. That's great. But I wanted to put in these cool looking platforms. Just looks a bit better. Especially for like quarries. Anything like that. Coal mines. Just looks a little bit more realistic almost. Can you imagine the, the stone being poured into the top of the trucks. And then we've got to rebuild this again. Street access. One way. And then I've got to do some more smoothing. Yeah, this is very expensive. I can, I can hear you all shouting, you know, stop it. Stop spending so much money on a truck stop. And I've built the wrong access. Yeah, we've spent spent quite a lot of money, haven't we, on this. Never mind, it's only money. We will recoup it. I'm pretty certain of that. I'm not really worried too much. Smooth all that off. And that a little bit as well. Yeah, def definitely overkill. So this is Solihull Quarry. And this is crew brickworks. Yeah, I think we'll have that. And then um, let's chuck on the trucks. Is there a road connecting those two up? Yeah, I'm, I'm still going with the building as little infrastructure theme as possible. So I think what I'll do is put the route on first. That might be an idea. So new line from there to where, where are you there? And this is cargo stone, cargo stone, solid hull to crew. And we'll have it. No, deal. I'm a dark, br dark black charcoal colour. Where's my depot? Depot is there. So let's buy some trucks now. Do I want to start using modded trucks? I think I might do because I've done the first two episodes where I basically showed you some of the some of the aspects, and I think now we can start to think about trucks. Um, so we've got these man trucks, man TGS uh, twenty six. 480. We have a tipper, which looks really cool, which can carry 32. Now we do have the vanilla tipper, and we've got these as well, these rigids, war axle rigids, which can carry 30, I think. Yeah, I think, don't, just don't like the capacity, it's just too big. That makes sense, it's just too much of a leap from 25, which is the vanilla capacity. How much the merrier? Yeah, because even like the bigger Peterbilts only carry so much. So I think I'm going to go with this one, which is still has quite a big capacity. What, what am I saying? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a massive leap. So I think we'll go with these because these look quite cool as well anyway. So I'll go two. They are a charcoal colour, aren't they? Graphite grey. Chuck that on, press play, and then we'll wait for these trucks to kind of get to their destination. And then we'll put a couple more trucks on. Okie dokie, so they're about halfway to their um, destination. It's quite a quite a big drive, actually. Uh, so we're going to buy another two of these, uh, which were the tippers, another two. I imagine we're probably going to need six, maybe eight on this. Um, so what we're doing? Painting these, aren't I? That's what I'm doing. Right, so graphite grey, send you on your way. But also what I was doing is because these are going to be in service for quite some time, I'm just going to put 25% maintenance on them because we'll, these are like our permanent vehicles, if you like. Whereas the other vehicles like the buses and the trucks we've got on these routes are just vanilla vehicles, which will be replaced very soon. So let's, have I chucked those on the route? I think I have, haven't I? But what I noticed while we're waiting for those trucks to uh, space out a little bit, I noticed this. So we've gone to all that effort of creating a loop and the trucks are kind of doing a spin around anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I mean. If we look, watch this, it might not actually look as bad as I think. Let's slow the game down a bit. You know what, to be honest, it doesn't look that bad, does it? It doesn't look that unrealistic. Might get a bit of tyre scrubbing because that was quite a tight turnaround. But I think as we've spent all this money anyway, I'm going to fix it. Yeah, that does look quite, you, you wouldn't turn that sharply in a rigid truck. So we've got to fix that and we can't. Why can't I put, uh, right, can I force it to come out? Actually, that one, no, because it's doing that anyway. Right, it would be nice if we could just chuck a road on this side, wouldn't it? That's what we need. Maybe if I put a platform on. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to investigate some modded depots and things like that. I do have some massive cargo depots actually, but there's a little bit too overkill for what we're doing. But I do have these ones which take a bit to load this will be cool for later on for like some of the bigger factories you know they really do look really good um, but i don't think i have like 
there are some straight on ones which are just like a long road i guess i could use this no that's just for loading cargo let's let's just fix what we've what we've built for now and spend even more money right so i'm gonna have to do spend all that money let's get rid of this little bit of road here yeah there are some modded cargo depots that look like this they're just straight on and straight out so i'm gonna uh gonna have a look on the on the workshop see what sort of depots we can get because I know I don't spend all day just looking at what trucks are doing, how they're turning around. But I think I just, just that added little detail I like to try and go into when I'm building anything. And let's, no, no, let's not do that. Let's spend all our money. Yeah, that, that's better. Which isn't, why aren't, hmm, that's a bit annoying. There is an, oh, there is a thing, isn't there, with these, the one-way roads. Don't think, it doesn't, it doesn't like those roads. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to spend even more money. You'd be, anyone would think I haven't played this game before. Right, let's. Let's get this configured i think you've got to have a two lane road on basically stuff has got to be able to come in and out in order for it to be connected to the actual thing that you're trying to connect to right let's 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 do this again shall we there is a there is a workaround which i think i can just about do right so let's get one of these on hopefully this is the last iteration so we'll have a two-way road going in and then what we'll do is we'll configure this get rid of them put a few of these on and then street access going out Street access going out, good. Right, and then get this connected up. This is a case of just being stubborn now. I could just could just as have easily left it as is. Right, so what the trucks do, the trucks are trying to turn around, which I knew they would. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck a waypoint on there and then coming up crew, solid hull, quarry, you're going into the waypoint. Right, so let's see now if that's hooked up, that is good. Right, so hopefully we'll get some stone being sent to that. Now we need to check this brick works, which is connected up yeah i think basically the in and out roads have to be within reach of whatever you're trying to access basically i think that's the issue so this road needs to be like close to a connection to the factory right so we've got that done good right let's get another speed the game up another two of these 25 percent maintenance which just stops them being noisy which i guess isn't a big issue because they're, they're outside of a town anyway so we don't really need to worry too much about them making a noise but never mind right so let's have a look at the cargo layer it is spread all over the place right if i go buildings drop off point it does reach reaches most things actually yeah that should be all right okie dokie so we want a uh, new line to chester good so this is cargo and we go with combats bricks bricks i'm calling them bricks i know the combats but we're going to call them bricks and then this is crew crew to chester like so and then we're going to chuck on actually are we going to chuck anything on are we generating stone yet we are good and we have what we haven't done actually is our timing so solihull quarry We'll load any maximum stop time 30 seconds, no, minimum stop time 30 seconds, minimum, maximum a minute. Good. Right, so you're carrying 32 stone, that's all good. Right, so I think we can start to get some, some trucks on delivering these bricks. Again, I think we'll go with these man TGS trucks for now because they do look quite cool. What can you carry? You can carry everything. You're a container wagon, aren't you? You're a flat. I think we'll go with the flat wagons, so we'll go with one. I think the line will be a Hughes Grey Green. B is blue. No, Hughes Grey Green. And then we'll line colour our trucks in the same sort of colour. We will go with 25% maintenance this... Well, we have anyway, but it's more important. Do they go past houses? They possibly will do, actually. Right, we'll chuck you on anyway. Your cargo bricks. Let's just see if this route does go past some houses. We've got lots of buses, 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 loads of buses. That one, yeah, it does go past some houses, so obviously it will be important that they remain well um, well maintained so they're not noisy. So are you my truck? I think what I'll do is I'll wait till he gets to East Grinstead. Probably. No, you're definitely in crew. Yeah, I, I don't care what Transport Fever says, they're, they're brickworks. No, they're not brickworks. <laughs> brickworks. Good, right, let's get on where are you you're going through cardiff at the minute that's fine we'll just wait for him to get to um to get to the brickworks that i'm calling him now and then we'll launch another truck probably three will probably do the trick on that run i would suggest okie dokie so he's almost at the brickwork so let's launch another truck so another one of these flat wagon 25 percent maintenance in the green and i'm going to chuck you on there i think i am going to try and save us some money and turn this off yeah it just means they will if they've got weathering because these are modded 
truck so if they do have like weathering and degradation they will start to look a bit tatty but they're not going anywhere near houses so it doesn't really matter that they um they, they were poorly maintained basically what am i oh you're doing a <laughs> why are you spinning around twice am i going to have to can't get rid of the terminal yeah this isn't going to plan i think i'm gonna to have to change look for some modded uh modded depots definitely right so what i want to do is terminals you can go on terminal two shouldn't matter too much because basically the obviously the stone trucks are literally just dropping off yeah it should be fine and then we just want to do crew brick works we want to do full load any maximum weight 30 seconds a uh, minimum weight 30 seconds maximum weight a minute and then that should all be good got bricks being generated already which is good con mats or whatever you want to call them so yeah we've got it all buttoned up i think would have liked to have done a little bit more in this episode but yeah we've had to build quite a lot of infrastructure i did waste a lot of time messing around with that uh, that depot there but not to worry what are we doing production 400 shipping 40 percent yeah we, we, we won't worry about that i think uh, i think i'm gonna leave it there i think we've we've got the com mats up and running anyway i think i'll see what we can do in the next episode i would like to get two trains as quickly as possible but like i said in the last episode i would like to have 100 million in the bank before i start to think about doing that so we're gonna have to get some more things connected up so we're making even more money but these this stone run should be making money fairly quickly so i think i will leave it there for today say so until next time bye bye